Hello and welcome back to part two of the virtual show. Up next is a young lad who wanted to come to Toy Track this year. Uh, he made a display through the first lockdown and then has now finished it for the show. So that will be next and later up you'll see an interview I did with Reg Gray. Um, unfortunately it was the day before the country went into a second lockdown so there may be some fireworks in the background that at the time I couldn't really hear them to stop and start again and I didn't think they'd show up as well in the, the videos they have. So just ignore the banging and let's get back to part two. I'm Yanto Lloyd. I am 11. I made this model at the start of lockdown and finished it today. This is based on a hill farm in the UK at late, late summer, early autumn. Here we've got a cow in having a caesarean because the calf is too big, being as she's a late um, calf. This is a vet's car with all the equipment in it. We've got little wellies in there and shoes on top. Moving moving to the next field, we've got some bulls fighting and an old max spreader which has got flat tires. Some gorse, a sheep that stuck its head through the fence and is trapped. And we've got some trees moving into a bit of more wild part. A fox, a fox hunting. A pheasant, a little stump. We've got because this is a new shed. They've got still got some spare materials left over. Inside of the shed, we've got some machines and some fertilizer spreaders. The old international two wheel drive, which does a couple of jobs around the farm. We've got some IVs, an IVC tank, and some a wheelbarrow, and some fencing kit. Better view of inside the shed. We've got the international parked up by there, baler. Some bales, some first and some concrete bags, a spreader, and we've got some windbreakers on the sides of the shed.
Welcome back. I'm here with Reg Gray. You may have seen him at some shows. Um, what shows do you do normally? Normally I do a uh, Warwick um, Exhibition Centre one and then also um, right over at, at uh, Sporting. Both Sporting shows. Yeah. So they're good. They're good. Yeah. But I mean, there's more farm models at um, Warwick. Yeah. Yeah. I'd love to go to the others, but. Work stops me, unfortunately. Yeah, well, travel is always a killer, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And uh, what got you into model farming and not any other modelling? Well, 60 years ago, I worked on a farm cleaning out the cow shed for uh, half a crown. Since then, I got, a, I got a toy tractor, I took it a bits, put it together, like the tractor down the road, and then I started doing uh, scale models. And I've been doing it ever since, on and off. And not all the time, sometimes... Um, there were a couple of years where I didn't do any model, model tractors, but for the last last 10 years, I've gone back into it and thoroughly enjoyed it. And clearly gone into it quite heavily, yeah? Um, well, because of lockdown, the first lockdown, I thought, what can I do? So I started getting a, a Britain's um, slurry tanker and um, cutting it in half and elongating it and making different versions of a slurry tanker. So as you can see there, I've got um, Red Rock, High Spec, Abbey, Major, and NC, and there are so many. If you look up on the um, Google, you can uh, Google slurry tankers. You'll see every kind of tanker there is in Great Britain and North Ireland. Yeah. Yeah. Well, fair enough. And um, I know you've made model farms. Yes. And before us is uh, fields, field work. Field work. Yeah. Um, now I actually own one of your farms. Yeah. And it's um, big as this table. Is, well, well bigger, bigger, I should think. Thought, yeah. Um, That's my problem, space. Yeah, and so I should think it's everyone's I, problem. I love doing the buildings, but then where do I put them once I've done them? Yeah. You know, and I've done the, that barn, which is an actual barn up on the Mendips, three times now. Yeah. You know, and I think, well, what, what else can I do? And, and But I love Somerset, you see, so it's the Somerset buildings, the Somerset tiles. Um, that's, that's what got me, you know. Yeah. No, and you're very good with your sheds, so Thank you. continuously come back for more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did milking parlours as well, remember? I did a herringbone one, then a yeah. rotary one, a big rotary one. Did a windmill for you, I think. Yes, um, that's, you know, that's very true. It started off as a, um, you know, a cone, really, you know, and uh, the inside of a cone I used to model it on and then took it off the, the, the traffic cone and made the rest of it. I thoroughly enjoyed that, it was great. And you've done a lot of models, obviously, you've done farms, you've done new fields. Is there anything that you would like to model but haven't yet quite achieved? Um, I'd like to do um, a proper maize um, uh, harvesting, probably. Yeah. I've done one before, um, which I think you've got. No, actually, I've got it, yeah. <laughs> um, but I'd like to do another one, really. Um, and the other one is... Um, uh, eventually eventually is to do a combine combining of wheat crop yeah um and i'm still just i'm, I'm in an airing on whether or not i should do a modern one or the old style 1960s 70s one with the um the guy sitting actually not in a cab but with just a they used to have a sack around their legs to stop the, the um uh, uh bit particles you know scratching them um that sort of thing um i've yet to I suppose the smaller one or the older combine would take less space for a diorama. That's the thing, it's, it's, a, it's a space. Um, something twice the size of this, that's all, you know. But now, of course, people want the backing, they want the sides, they want the photograph of the land, you know, yeah. where it's situated. I'm not that good at that yet. <laughs> no. One day. And uh, I've noticed on some of your Britain's tractors you've put um, proper working linkages on them. Yeah. Um, um, what are they made from? Plastic, plastic, uh, you know, um, little white bits of plastic. Um, oh, some, right. Sometimes cardboard. If you want to make cardboard as strong as plastic, cover it in super glue. It gets really hard. Yeah. Then you, you, then you can cut it with a knife and mould it and whatever. And uh, so the linkages, some of them are actually uh, cardboard. Oh, right. But very strong. They so you don't ever use like Artisan 32 linkages or? Some of them I have, yes, on yeah. some, but they're expensive. Again, it's, it's money. Yeah. Yes, well, well, everyone's know. got their budget. Yeah, okay. that's it. 
And uh, something unusual is your box on the back of the uh, potato harvester. Yes, there's two people inside that. It took me ages to get them in. I got that from Ireland, uh, from, I forgot his name now. I think um, it's um, Kieran Dunn. Kieran Dunn, yeah. Oh, it, 32 fire models. Virtually nearly had to wait a year. So he's obviously, he's a very good model maker and he's obviously um, called for a lot. So I had to wait my turn. He's very busy with hedge trimmers as well, boy. Ah, uh, yes, yes, <laughs> yes he is. Um, yeah, I, I'm not into hedge trimmers yet. Might, might get there, but I mean, I did love, I did need one of those on the back because I'd seen it and I thought, yeah. So, um, but it's to do the tractor in the front, the row crop with the row crop tires and um, the uh, uh, potato topper. Yeah. You know, all that is important as well. But there's two two different types, as you see, and they're both um, harvesting both, potatoes. Both groomy. Yeah, it's grown. Yeah. yeah, both grown. Right, fair enough. And your trainers, where do you get your trainers? Trainers from? I got from a, a lovely chap called, and I forgot to get my mind, it's age, my mind is going. Um, Dan, is it Dan? Yeah, it's Dan. Dan Mitchell. Yeah. Is it Mitchell? Dan Mitchell. Yeah. Brilliant uh, um, trailer maker. And so, yeah, I got them off him. Yeah, and that will be Three Oaks Trailers. Three, was, was in those days Three Oaks Trailers, yeah. 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 Oh, perfect. Um, no, I think that's all I have to ask. Hopefully Fair that's good for you at home. If you want to have, make baby potatoes, go to Tesco's and get some uh, mustard seed and you've got potatoes being planted. <laughs>